Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games, sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm, what have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. Guard rule number one, always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. Hmm. This here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee 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 wee! You pull over now, so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. What style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little... Ow! That smart. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dulap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me. Hmm, needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are! They ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. What style? What a landing! That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the games. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Take the lead in the 100-mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. <laughs> You know, 
You don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. This is what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. Sergeant, I know you're heading out on vacation. Well, the Antarctic Corps would like you to take it right here. But, sir, I was going to a warm tropical island. You scratch our back and we'll scratch yours, Hogwash. I'm assigning you to a priority one assignment. The military has been working on this secret biodome for over a year. What you're about to see is top secret. Meant for your eyes only. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's a paradise. Yes, it's the pinnacle of modern military science. Everything here, from the steam from the artificial volcano to the smallest grain of sand, is designed to nurture a single precious crop. I hope it's yams. I love yams. Whoa! Ultra Nanas, a bioengineered superfood with all the nutrients for the army on the move. Oh, it's not yams. Sergeant, you are not to eat the bananas or touch the bananas. You are only to look at the bananas when you're feeding and watering them. Understood, sir. On second thought, you better not even look at him. Uh, sir, about my vacation. Enjoy it, Sergeant. As long as the structure is secure and the Ultra Nanas are thriving, you are free to enjoy all the dome's amenities. Carry on! Sir, yes, sir, see and sundry, see and sir! Vacation? Here I come. A little drip here and a little bitty drop there. And now it's time to unwind. Oops. Incoming! <laughs> Huh? Halt, you little bad burglar! You're transacting on government property! Penguin, you are about to receive a lesson in trajectory! Thought 
you could escape hogwash o' the jungle, did you? Well, no knick-knack, jingle-jungling way, Pee-wee. You are hereby dishonorably discharged! Here you go, my little thirsty worsty. A drinky winky. And don't you worry, that bad boy penguin won't bother you anymore. Now it's time to play. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 die, die. Uh, uh, Pilfering penguin's gonna foul up my furlough. Quit your splashing in my face. You going down, boy. Round and round. I've always wanted to try one of these. What? Just... You ruined my r, r one time too many, you banana peeling pirate! Your vacation leave is permanently terminated until you fix that biodome top to bottom and regrow those ultra Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it! As a wildlife ranger, I'm sworn to protect all in dangerous critters in these here harsh weather conditions. That means making sure the rare albino polar bear who lives in this here cave has food to eat all winter long, a nice warm place to make nappy time, and some entertainment appliances for his personal enjoyment. Now to get myself acquainted with the big fella. Huh? Now, just what the heck's going on hereabouts? Well, well, what have we here? Why, you're just a normal, everyday penguin. And this here stuff is for endangered critters like the albino polar bear. So, get! That big fella will sleep like a baby cub on this here posterior pedic. You gotta be real careful with these ornery bear types. They can be mighty standoffish if and you don't make a good first impression. Say! Now you listen here, little fella. This bed is designed for the slumbering of one albino polar bear. Now come back here and... Yeah, 
Hello there, mister. Well, my first encounter with the big fella didn't go so swell, but food is real hard to come by out here, and I'm sure this here Phil at Mignon will warm him up to me. Mr. Bear, got you some delectables. I'll stay 20 paces away from the critter to show him that I am in no way his predator. This here penguin is really starting to crush my eyes. Sure is a heavy little fella. <laughs> Y'all might want to avert your eyes. This is gonna hurt a bit, I reckon. Like it says in the Ranger Handbook, when in pain, always revert to the standard operating declaration. Ouch! Stay out of my preserve, little fella. I'm as sure as snow on Christmas that this big screen TV will win back that fella's affections. I'll just put the set on mute and program all the educational-like channels for this big fella's edification. Hmm, looks like my first aid training's gonna come in mighty handy in a few seconds. <laughs> You are banished from these here parts until such time as you are in dangerous, rare, or unique, which will be never. I am officially pronouncing this banished penguin territory, so you stay put. Well, hi and howdy there, little purple penguin. Don't see much of your kind around these parts. Wait a minute. You know, I'm not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as a purple penguin, Mr. Purple Penguin. Impersonating an endangerous type critter is a serious offense against nature. You know what? That's not a half bad look for you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> It is the ultra-rare tropical penguin and the tropical polar bear. What a find. Now, just a credit catch a minute here, short stuff. These creatures are in my charge, and I... For shame. A member of the ranger service chasing such endangered creatures? No, 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 no. These little ones deserve better. They deserve the tropical four-star treatment. And you, my Arctic Ranger friend, will be sweeping out the tropical preserve paradise when I report you to headquarters! Whew. It sure is hot working here in this tropical nature preserve. Oh well, at least it's a dry heat. What a cold Christmas this turned out to be, especially in the Arctic regions. One thing's for sure, Santa's got it made in the shade this year. The jolly old elf's toy delivery route will take him around the world, including stops in warm spots like 
the Bahamas, San Tropez, and Bora Bora. Guess we'd all like to ride along with him this Christmas. <laughs> Santa makes the list, but as head out for this here workshop, it is my Christmas duty to check it twice. Naughty, naughty, nice. Why, looky here. Little Robbie gets a paddle ball. Hmm, eye hand coordination never was my strong suit. The great thing about this toy is that it feels so good when you stop. I better get back to work if and I want to be Santa's exclusive ride-along helper this year. Hmm? Now, now there, little fella. Santa's got a rule against peeking at presents before Christmas. Yup, I'm sorry, but you gotta make like you're under the mistletoe and kiss off. Huh? Ouch! I'm telling you for the last time, this here sack is not for peekers. I'm gonna send this penguin all the way to springtime. The holiday season is not the best time to take up running. Oh, Smedley! Smedley! Smedley, where are you? Uh. Now, Smedley, there's no time to lay about on the job. There's work to be done. <laughs> you need to finish up the gift list while I get ready for my midnight ride. Ah, hi, Mr. C. Right away, sir. I gotta work extra diligent like now so as I can get to ride along with Santa Claus. Doggy, check. Aw, uh, ain't he cuter than a bug's ear? Ducky, check. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of Aunt Mabel's Thanksgiving dinner. Not nearly enough stuffing. Pangu Penguin? <laughs> Looks like I got me a misfit toy. This is what we elves call an occupational hazard. You are hankering to be numero uno on Santa's naughty list, aren't you? Here's one finely crafted airplane. <sighs> yes, sir. With my attention to detail, Santa's sure to pick me as this year's ride along elf helper. Uh -huh. Usually it's the tree that gets trimmed, not the elf. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'll ground that penguin for sure. Huh? Whoa! I say, whoa! Uh-oh. In your face, penguin. Uh, yeah, uh, my abashed apologies, sir. Smedley, what have I told you about playing with the toys? They're for the good boys and girls. Now please, get back to work. If that little penguin thinks he's got the best of this elf, he's barking up the wrong chimney. So, he wants to get in this bag, does he? Well, the only sure way to stop a penguin is... chemistry. 
If an I whip me up here on some super sticky glue, I trap him like a fly in molasses. <laughs> Tree sap. Icky goo. Puss and stuff. Chewing gum. Natural glycerin. Ooh. Smedley, I want to thank you for all your hard work this Christmas. But you look so tired. Take the rest of the night off. Ho, 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 ho. But, but I... Ho, 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 ho. Huh? Wait, Santa, wait! Make sure you give that chili nothing but call for Christmas. Whoa! You hear me? Nothing but cold, hard call. Oh! 